Hi, happy morning, everyone. Welcome to Meteor YouTube channel. I hope you are all fine. And congratulations who have got selected in uh, ESI examination provisionally. You have to upload your documents. So then final list will be uh, sent it very soon. Okay. So while uploading the documents, please be careful and whatever the requirement and whatever the things they have asked, please upload properly. So don't get confused. Okay. We'll see today's session, five important MCQ for the exam of Ames and Jibmar. Before that, we'll start with a small quote. Believe you can. And you are halfway there. Okay. Ninga Ungra Namba Aram Bichtinale, you crossed halfway. Ninga Padi Katata Tandi Ninga success poetry in Arthur. So always believe yourself. That will be your half success. Okay, we'll start today's session. First question Nurse Maureen, expecting a client with mitral stenosis would demonstrate symptoms associated with congestion in the. So, this is nurse is uh, taking care of a patient with a mitral stenosis. What symptoms the nurse can expect? So, the congestion will be where? Options, right atrium, superior vena cava, iota, and pulmonary. Think and answer. The answer is pulmonary. So, when there is a mitral stenosis, I'll show the picture. So, this is a normal uh, mitral valve between the left atrium and left ventricle, right? So, mitral valve is present. So, when there is an stenosis, occlusion is happening in the mitral valve, what will happen? The blood flow cannot come from blood cannot come from left atrium to left ventricle. So, what will happen? The blood flow will go back to the pulmonary veins, to the lungs. So, what will happen? Automatically, the patient's lungs will get fluid, right? So, the patient will have the pulmonary congestion. You have to... Uh, while the question is uh, uh, the question is asked by the examination, you have to think and picture the things. Okay, so where will be the mitral stenosis will happen? So when the, where there is a mitral stenosis, what will happen to the blood flow? Okay, like that you have to picture it. So you can answer the question easily. So when there is a mitral stenosis, the blood cannot go from left atrium to the left ventricle. So the automatically will blood, the blood in the left atrium will go enter into the pulmonary circulation that leads to the pulmonary congestion. So the answer is pulmonary. Clear? Yes. Next question. What is the primary symptom of an ischemic stroke? Options, severe headache, eye fever, sudden confusion, muscle weakness. So what is the primary symptom will be there when the patient is having sudden ischemic stroke? The answer is sudden confusion. You all know that the mnemonic of fast be fast. The earlier there is a the WHO and the Stroke Development Authority they given fast, F A S T fast. Now it is B fast. What is meant by B? Balance. E for eyes, changes in the vision. F for face, a drooping of one side and arms weakness. Sudden weakness will be there. Speech slurring of speech. So this is the time to call an emergency. So this is the mnemonic for the B fast. When there is a patient is expecting for the stroke, you can see all these symptoms. So here the question is primary symptom they have given. What is that? Sudden confusion. There is a sudden loss of balance as well as confusion will be there. So that is a primary uh, symptom of an ischemic stroke. Clear? Sudden confusion. That is a correct answer. So, so as soon as possible, we have to call the ambulance. We have to take to the medical specialty to treat the stroke. Next question. Which type of stroke involves bleeding within the brain? So the stroke because of bleeding within the brain. Options, ischemic, hemorrhagic, transient ischemic attack, embolic. What is that? Bleeding within the brain is hemorrhagic. Okay. What is ischemic? Ischemic is due to some occlusion. Okay. There is no bleeding. So there is a clot formation or a plaque formation that arresting the circulation in the brain. That is called ischemic stroke. So it is not bleeding. So option A is incorrect. Option C, transient ischemic attack. It is a milder form of an attack. Uh, it is also due to the mini clots. 
because of small clots, the patient will have the stroke-like symptoms for a particular period of time. Okay. Permanently, there will be stroke, but it is a warning sign. In future, the patient may get a uh, stroke. Purjura, ischemic stroke and trans ischemic stroke one da, but ischemic stroke on the periaclot complete blood supply on the stop iron. But trans ischemic ischemic attack la, very chin chin uh, clots nala on the bleeding are uh, bleeding on the uh, blood flow on the cut iron. So other or particular amount of time come to patient given the stroke. So that is trans ischemic ischemic attack. And due to the clots or a plague. What is embolic? Due to the some clots, embolic stroke, clot that will uh, enter into the cerebral circulation that will arrest the uh, circulation. So everything remain except B, everything related to the ischemic stroke due to the clots or emboli. So only the hemorrhagic type of stroke which will happen in the within the brain. Clear? Yes. Next question. Question number four. Mrs. Chua, a 78 year old client is admitted with a diagnosis of mild chronic heart failure. The nerves expect to hear when dissolving to client Hence, lungs indicative of chronic heart failure would be. So, what is the correct answer? The answer already given. It is crackles. When there is a patient having heart failure, especially when the patient is having the left side heart failure, the patient will have the crackles because of the excessive accumulation of fluid in the lungs. Clear? Next question. The nurse Trisha teaches a client with heart failure to take oral fruzimide in the morning. The reason for this to help. So already the patient is a known case of a heart failure. So the nurse is teaching you have to take a fruzimide tablet in the morning. Why? Options they are given retard rapid drug absorption, excrete excessive fluid accumulated at night, prevent sleep disturbance during the night, prevention of electrolyte imbalances. So the right answer is option C prevents the sleep disturbance during the night. Why? Because it is a Lasix. If you give during the night time, what will happen? The patient's uh, sleep will be disturbed because of continuous urination. So that is why the nurse is teaching the patient with heart failure, kindly take the Prusumate in the morning so that your night sleep will not be disturbed. Clear? Yes. If the patient is on folis, that doesn't... Uh, that. Uh, that, uh, that is not a matter, okay? That is different. Here there is, they didn't mention about the whether a patient is on a folis or not, okay? For normally, it's better to give the fruzimide in the morning time to uh, prevent the sleep disturbance during the night. Okay? I hope today's session was helpful. Thank you so much. We'll meet you on next class. Thank you all.